Yo, what is going on, you rat like Reuniclus? Playing some games with abilities are today. This is the list I've been rocking. Nothing super special. Not a whole lot has changed for the deck um, for a while, but just felt like playing some abilities are. So let's go ahead. Let's get into it. All right, getting into our first one here. Um, opponent is probably going first. Yep, we did lose the coin flip, but that's just fine. The opening hand is ooh, almost perfect. Just missing some way to get energy, but we do have two flint and two hearth in the list. Not going to bench Vulpix just because if their opponent does play Fion, which quite a few decks do, they can force up our Vulpix um, on our first turn, and then we won't have access to that Cellar Wish plus a skateboard combo to get to the bench. All right, we're playing up against Macargo. It looks like here some kind of Macargo GX deck. Looks just like the straightforward Macargo GX build. This matchup's pretty good for us. We get to kind of choose what we want to knock out. We got a lot of one prize or Pokemon we can abuse. We're going to try and get off Heatran here on this first turn. Get that early knockout on this Slugma. Just try and be aggressive as soon as possible. And uh, that's enough to carry us into an advantage throughout the rest of the game. Um, only the one Slugma down on the first turn. So that's super good for us right here. Um, let's start with the Calm. I'm going to get rid of the Ninetales. I'm going to see what's going on in the deck. There's Heatran. I think we're going to go ahead and grab... We got Switch. I think I'm going to grab second Jirachi here. And then depending on what we get off both Jirachis... Uh, maybe I should just tell it which first actually let's see two flint two hearth yeah depending on how that flint goes I might have to get rid of the shirachi all right we're definitely getting the Jirachi here um Stella wish there's that flint I was talking about right, we're gonna flint away Jirachi and the switch here it didn't end up being uh yeah yeah those two we want to keep Vulpix we want to keep a skateboard we want to keep a quick ball grab all four it actually ended up okay I guess we might end up Dede changing, so having the Ninetales is back in the deck is a little bit better. The Heatran is here. We prized two to Dene. Let's check how many fire we prized. Looks like two fire, two to Dene. Um, a Calm, a Welder. All right, two fire, two to Dene, a Calm, and a Welder. Sounds fine to me. We're actually going to Welder to our active here because with Heatran's ability, uh, we can still get the energy from the Jiraji onto it. But we, might, we don't want a Quick Ball for Heatran if we don't have to. Um, gonna quick ball away a fire energy here, I think. Grab that Heatran. Do we do have two switch in hand? Bench Vulpix, Bench Heatran, attach a skateboard. Uh, gonna retreat here, use its ability. I'm debating if I want to Dede change this turn, but I don't think so because there's a good chance we get a Dene off our prize cards. Uh, which means we could use that to Dene instead. Um, decent chance. Not like, you know, above 50% or anything. But two prized. Might get one. Got a calm instead. Um, and that means we can only use one to Dene. One to Dene. One Dede change over two turns anyways. This turn and the next turn. So there's no reason to Dede change this turn. When we can just Dede change next turn. It's about the same thing. So yeah, we're just going to wait and Dede change next turn. Um, got the calm now. So if we top deck a Pokemon, we can calm that back and get that Ninetales. Start chasing those Slugmas is going to be our mission here, our job. This is what we want to get done. Um, here's a custom catcher for one from our opponent. So they are really uh, grasping here, but didn't they just... Maybe I, I didn't see that quite how I thought it. So I thought they used Primate Wisdom to put a card on top of the deck and then customed into it. I'm, I might be wrong. They maybe didn't. Um, I guess it would be fine that way. No, it doesn't make it... Well, I guess they technically draw an extra card there. I don't know. That's what I thought I saw. Might have been something completely different. Um, yeah, so our, our, our plan on our turn, switch into Jirachi. We want to set up the Turtonator. It's going to be our next go-to attacker here. And then after that, we want to set up the Victini um, if we need them. It's possible we can just keep pressuring them with the Heatran, and it might be enough to win the game. We'll hopefully take out a Slugma this next turn, get a Ninetales in play. Uh, we're kind of short a Pokemon right here to be able to pull that off. But um, hopefully we top deck a Pokemon. And then... Uh, yeah, go from there. Let's see. Our top deck is Dedene. The Dedene. Okay, so we can calm away the Dedene. Um, let me just think for a second. Yeah, we can calm away Dedene. Go get ourselves that Ninetales. <laughs> uh, switch into Jirachi. We're going to quick ball away the fire. Grab ourselves the uh, Dedene. Uh, evolve to Ninetales. And then Dedene change. And we're looking for a Welder, some fire energy. And a Turtonator overall. Let's see what we get. Uh, there's a Hearth. There's a 
Ooh, there's a dry, fiery flint, and I don't want to give them access to hearth, actually. I don't think the low punny is particularly good, so I might flint that away. Um, but calming for the um, Turtonator is also pretty tempting. So I'm going to go with flint and get rid of hearth and fire instead. Uh, build those fires up in the discard pile. Yeah, it's pretty tempting to get that Turtonator out there and get a welder onto it. So I think I kind of want to go that route instead. Um, Stella Wish did get that, that welder. Going to go with Turtonator. Um, calm away the... We could also, I guess, go for the uh, Reshizar because Flare Strike also knocks out a Macargo, but we could just stay the one prizer route. Uh, I think that gives us the biggest advantage overall um, and maybe use the... Um, Reshi's Art at the end of the game, towards the end of the game, look to set that up. Um, Palpat, gonna get those two Welders reviews back into the deck, and then get Nine Tails with the Nine Temptations, bring up that Slugma. Um, actually, on this turn, we do have to attach to the Turtonator if, oh no, we can hold off this turn, actually, we can hold that energy um, if we want to, and I am going to, because, um, <clears throat> now maybe it would have been better to go the Reshi's Art. A little bit harder for our opponent to knock out, they're already struggling to knock this out. Would have been more likely to for sure get the knockout. There's that fire energy. Yeah, because I need five energy in play for the explosive jet to take a knockout on a Macargo next turn. So we don't need to attach last turn. Um, and this means if we just like get one energy between the top deck or the prize cards like we got here with this energy, we could just like nine temptations and steaming stomp again. And that would be like a fine uh, line of play anyways. Um, but this works out. This works out fine as well. Um, here we go. The Slugma's getting set up. They do currently knock us out. And there is the Macargo. So, our opponent's going to get that knockout with the Lava Flow. They do have to discard all their energy, but I'm sure they don't mind because it does give them the knockout on our Heatran. That has been causing them so much trouble uh, up to this point. Yeah, so I'm sure they don't mind at all. There goes the Primate Wisdom. Got some more Wisdom. They want to deal it out. <clears throat> yep, there's the Crushing Charge, but definitely an unnecessary energy. They should definitely be playing like this is going to get knocked out because it most likely is. It might not. I guess I could miss the knockout i could whiff the welder we got four welders in the deck so stellar wisher is stellar wisher is super likely to get us that or get us a quick ball which will then get us another jirachi and because of the switch we can actually stellar wish twice this turn uh pretty freely um and not really lose anything here comes the lava flow and that's actually their only macargo in play so if we do knock this out um our opponent's in some serious trouble they won't have a, resp a knockout uh anything to respond with a knockout um and will slowly slip further and further behind um, so yeah, all we need is basically a welder. There is the welder already. Just gonna start off with that then. A welder to the Turtonator. Kinda wanna save the switch if possible. Currently missing an energy to actually get the knockout here. I think I'm just gonna quick ball away this Volcanion. Then the deck out of this Jirachi. We do need this giant hearth. That is our only way to get an energy this turn. So two Stellar Wishes is pretty good. Uh, I mean, yeah, increasing our chances is just kinda good in general. Alright, Stellar Wish. Not quite. I'm going to grab the quick ball here because I do want more outs to that Victini. And we're going to go ahead and bench a Jirachi. Retreat to the Jirachi. How many switch do I actually have left? This is like my third switch here. Stella Wish whiff on this one. So we're not going to get the knockout actually. And that they do play Custom Catcher. So this kind of puts us in a little bit of trouble because they could Custom Catcher, knock out our Turtonator, remove a lot of energy in play. And then once again, we're going to have to look for that Hearth um, or Top Deck Energy we have the quick ball to get the Victini, so we could get that in play, welder it if we top deck just the one energy, um, and then hopefully draw into one of those last five, one of those one of those last five energy in the deck, um, and then that would actually get the knockout on the Macargo because these four energy in the Turnator would end up in the discard pile. But if not, we're kind of hoping for Hearth um, off our Stella wishes. We can get another Jirachi with this quick ball. We don't want to because we do want that out to uh, Victini. Um, as well as a uh, out to um, Victini was one of them. What else do we want to out to? Maybe it's just Victini at this point. Yeah, I just kind of want to use the quick ball to get the Victini. So I don't want to use this one immediately to get the Jirachi because we're going to be running out of outs. Yeah, we only have one com left as well. Yeah, we're running out of ways to get Pokemon basically. Uh, so we want to avoid that. We want to avoid that at all costs. Here comes that Lava Flow. They actually don't have to get rid of any energy here um, unless they want to discard some for, for some reason. Although would never make sense to do that, so. There's a quick ball, getting rid of the Dene. They are down two Slugmas, but they have a Ditto and a Slugma on the bench, so. Uh, Ditto left probably somewhere in the deck. Yep, there's the Ditto. Um, they do play Reset Stamp, and they, yeah, like as mentioned, they play the Custom Catchers. Something you don't always see in the Macargo deck is the Custom. Sometimes they got them, sometimes there's only great Catchers. Um, 
So there is that threat of them being able to knock out this turn, which isn't, like I said, it's not too big of a deal because uh, we do just kind of have the Victini then at that point to take the knockout. Okay, there's that 100 coming in from the Macargo. Knockout on the Jirachi. Send up the Jirachi. Draw for turn, not a fire energy. Stellar Wish, not a uh, Flint. Oof. Um, go ahead and quick ball away. Or not a hearth. We need a hearth there. Got to quick ball away that. Once again, digging for the hearth. Kind of feel like I'm just kind of digging myself a hole here. Um, retreat. Still a wish. There we go. There is the hearth. Whew. That was getting close. Uh, now we still we still need a lot to work with though. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hearth away. Ooh. How many welder do we have left? Not a ton. I'm afraid of this thing not getting knocked out and staying trapped in the active. But I think my opponent will probably knock something else, like something out next turn. So we're gonna go like this, get two fire. I'm gonna welder one to the Turtonator because we really need to draw into that Victini. I'm also kind of scared about decking out. Actually, if our opponent does play the Bryson Man, they can actually beat us next turn, um, potentially. Explosive Jet here. Get rid of all these five. Uh, so we should be getting a, most likely be getting into Dene here. Um, and then potential to get a what else is there possibly in here to Dene uh, the fire energy fire energy is really good grab here all right we got the Dene and fire energy that means the last prizes are to Dene and we got the calm out of the prizes I believe so actually not sure what that last prize card is uh, one of them is a Dene though because we did prize the two to Dene we got one of them now um, yeah the, a play they could make actually could be to not knock out our active uh, we do have just enough energy to retreat a Terminator and attack with Victini though um, and a play we do just kind of lose to is the GX attack of Macargo, Burning Magma, combined with a Bellabut and Bryson Man. We actually have no way to beat that combination right now. We have eight cards left in deck. It would mill eight cards, and we would lose the game. Um, we'll have to see if our opponent has it. Of course, we're hoping they don't, but, uh, it's very possible they do, and we do just lose here. So we'll wait and see if what they got. Uh, the Macargo's at the very least set it up, set up, so they can knock out our Turtonator. Keep being aggressive like that. Uh, but we do have the Welder plus that Fires and the Victini. We did draw into the Victini. Didn't even talk about that yet. Uh, there was a Welder on their side, though. So they can't battle the Bryson Man. Um, so we got the we got the Knockout set up on the Macargo. The only thing they can save at this point is Ambulant. Um, uh, but there's the Macargo onto the Slugma. So they can't even... Uh, oh, no, they can still aim it. They can still aim at the active. But it won't matter because... They don't have another thing to take a knockout with. Or I guess they could go, no, whap down on a Jirachi if they knock out Turtonator. Wouldn't do anything. So they'd have to knock out the Dene this turn. And then if I KO this, they'd have to whap down a Jirachi. So that is actually a route they could go. Actually, that's a Mewtwo. So they do have another attacker they can use. They can use the Mewtwo. So, all right. It's all right. There's the amulet. All right. I keep saying all right a lot. It's a very all right situation. Um, so what they can do here is knock out this and then use Mewtwo to knock out the Dene. They would need double custom their last welder and to get the three energy on the Mewtwo which wouldn't be that difficult that'd be the easiest part of the whole whole situation um all right where are we going with this um not sure I'm actually not sure where we're going with this we do have energy left in deck we have two so I'm gonna giant hearth away one of these take those I'm gonna then go heat factory because the thing they need is fire energy so but them having heat factory could be better than the giant heart i think oh man let's see they have three fire crystal left so they probably have access to the fires they need um okay so i'm gonna calm away let's start with stella which we're looking at five cards right now all right just want to take a look all right i think i want to calm for the Oh, are we out of welder? No, we have one welder. One welder's prized. Oh, that's where the welder is. Well, that's what our last prize is. Okay. Um, how are we going to win this game? We're running out of waste. We need to get the welder off the prize cards, I think. I'm going to con this guy in. What do we want to take? If we want to take anything. Energy burst doesn't do anything. Jumping balloon doesn't take a knockout. We're going to take the knockout on the actor to draw one prize card. Reshi's art seems like the best thing to set up because it would give us the most stall potential because uh, it's just kind of the biggest Pokemon we get to throw out there. So I'm going to take Reshi's art. I'm going to bench the Victini. I'm going to 
Uh, Welder to the Vixini. Draw three. Did not get it to Dene back, which is what I was looking for. Um, Bench Reshizard. Attached to the Reshizard. Not going to put the Heat Factory in play yet, because we want access to the Hearth next turn. And we don't want to give our opponent access to the Heat Factory. I don't think that's very likely they have the energy they need. Alright, we did prize a welder. That's what the last prize card is. It's a welder, huh? Alright, so here we go. 50-50 to get the welder. And we hit it. Um, so that means we pretty much have game set up next turn. Uh, they could be playing two reset stamp, which means they would be able to stamp us next turn and make it really hard for us to actually win the game. Especially if they don't take a knockout and kind of wait until they can knock out to Dene, because we don't really have any way to draw cards aggressively besides the Dene's. Um, which unfortunately for us, we don't have access to one, because we went and comped for the Reshizard um instead i guess we should have maybe weldered yeah i guess we should have welded to victini drawn, car drawn cards and then seen if we even wanted the communication i'm not sure why i used the communication first we should have welded to victini first just drawn cards uh seen what happens from there definitely a mistake on uh on my part but yeah we can lose this turn right here right now if our opponent does knock out our Dedenne. I don't think they can knock out our Reshi's Art. I guess it wouldn't matter. If they can knock out the Dedenne, they'll knock out the, the Reshi's Art as well. So they would need um, basically just a Welder, Attach, and then Double Custom, which they definitely have left, because if you play one Custom, you probably play four. Um, unless they prized two Customs, I guess, and that is possible. They could have prized two Customs. Their last two prize cards could be Custom Catchers. That'd be super unfortunate for our opponent. Um, but I think they're basically betting that, or hoping, that we don't have game on our turn next turn. And that's what our opponent's hoping for at this point. And I'm still going back to that turn. I don't know why I didn't weld into Victini first. It really made no sense at all. Uh, here comes the Mewtwo. Just going with the Burning Magma. Um, I don't think there's anything they could possibly hit that would make this hard for us to pull off. Um, gonna go ahead and welder first. We want to maximize the amount of energy we draw, so we don't want to take any other deck with the hearth yet. And then I'm going to attach, I'm going to nine temptations up there, small Macargo. And uh, can we, can we actually have the win with Victini? We do have the win with Victini, so we're just gonna go ahead and infinity knock it out, put all the energy back into a deck. It was a close one, actually. This one was a lot closer than I thought it would be with how good of a start and how poor of a start our opponent had. But um, I don't know, a little bit of I don't know. Questionable play for me, I think. I think I played a little bit. I can't really pick out a specific moment. Obviously, at the end there, like I said, with the welder, the Dene communication combination sequencing was bad, but I can't really pick out a specific play. Ended up winning anyways. Maybe I didn't do anything wrong. It just seemed like I did, because how close it was with how poor of a start they had. Maybe it's just a rough matchup for abilities. I don't know. It seemed ridiculous. It was definitely ridiculously close. Um, felt like I didn't play ridiculously bad, but we get a dub in the end. Okay, we are getting to another one. Looks like we're going a second again. Um, once again, not that big of a deal. We made it work last time. We'll make it work again. Um, see what our opponent's playing here in just a second. Got the Jirachi start. Got a Welder. Only thing we're missing is a Attacker to go with it. Let's see. And a way to move our Jirachi. Not going to bench anything else yet. Once again, play around that potential of Fion. The potential of Fion. You never know. It's a Mewtwo start from our opponent. Um... See what kind of Mewtwo deck they got going on here in just a second. Here's a Quick Ball. There's a Latios. Probably Welder Mewtwo. Um, once again, we're going to see. Uh, we're going to want to use Baby Volcanion uh, if we can this turn um, against the Mewtwo deck. Just get a bunch of energy in play um, and then try and use Turtonator or Heatran on the following turn to take that knockout on the Mewtwo. So yeah, we want the Baby Volcanion ton of energy in play welder somewhere attach somewhere really want to know what's in our deck as well um there's a comp so that's great um where do i even want to start bench volpix welder to volpix almost i think i want to hearth away an energy first let's see what's in the deck so we have flare starter we have heatran um we have turtonator so we have all the pieces here um I think I'm gonna throw some energies on the Vulpix because it's pretty safe there. Unless they wanted to use the Naganda to snipe it, but I would be fine if they overextend or they extend to that extent. Um, and then we'll try and Turtonator or Heatran or Volcanion somewhere with the Flare Setter, ideally on Turtonator. And then we have Heatran to pull all the energy together if that doesn't work out. Um, don't have a Switch card yet. I'm going to. Calm away the Jirachi. 
I'm gonna grab that flare starter and then I'm gonna dead a change I think attach and then dead a change yeah it seems good to me there we go yeah so turtonator would be nice here to get um to flare starter too that's ideal I think here let's see what we get got the switch no way to get the poke yet there's a pal pad not bad but not exactly what we wanted pal pad the welder into the deck then I guess it is just gonna be switch flare starter um probably go uh 200 dene one on jirachi i guess i can't really decide where i'd want to put these uh in my head right now flare starter we get three we do want them all in play one on dene one on jirachi could have benched another jirachi but i didn't want to put the victini down yet one on the active is seems not correct um, another onto Dene, but they could great catch him. I did anything I'm thinking about there. They could snipe this, but I think they'd rather snipe the Vulpix. But our hand is dead. Um, so having them knock out the Dene would definitely be bad. Oh, if we had put down the Pokemon down, it would have been okay as well, I guess. Um, let's go with the Dene here. Um, I don't know. They get it quite a bit if they knock out the Dene, but I guess that means they don't knock out our Jirachi or Vulpix, which are definitely more important to have around. Vulpix isn't a huge deal in this matchup because they're going to be mostly attacking with Mewtwo, so we just kind of have to knock them out as they come up. Um, but still, even then, um, even then, having the option to bring them up and be more aggressive is definitely nice. Or if you know, if our opponent doesn't attack us this turn, but it looks like they're going to, as they did get that Welder, at the very least they could attack us with the Tag Purge. Uh, but yeah, there's the Naganadel. They're thinking about it. Yeah, we saw it. They see it. Um, and they'll probably reach for our Dedene on this knockout here, which is fine because we can still get those six energy either utilized through Vulcan or Turtonator. I keep saying Vulcan, and Turtonator or Heatran. And then we're going to look to use Victini to take our last knockout. So we don't really want to put Victini in play because it then could... Eh, I guess it probably won't be able to get knocked out. They probably don't play Custom Catchers. That would be the only fears if they play Custom Catchers. But... They probably don't. So we would actually be fine, I think. Um, yeah, I think we would probably be fine. We'd probably be fine. Um, I don't think they play uh, play custom catchers. We'll see, though. We'll find out, I guess. There's a great catcher. They can bring up our Dedene, but they are set up to knock it out the through this. I guess they could knock it out with Flare Strike if they didn't want to burn energy. Um, so yeah, our Dedene is probably going down. Like I said, uh, that's probably what they'll focus here. Um, even if I didn't have the two energy there, they might have still focused it, which is why I kind of want to move the energy somewhere else. But we'll see what they actually go for. It's possible they don't. I guess if we had two energy here, they maybe would have focused the Vulpix. Which, once again, like I said, we kind of want to keep around. Um, yeah, we'll just see what they end up going with. They're obviously stepping with the Ganadel, or they go for the Great Catcher. It's gonna be not good. They're going for the Vulpix. Okay. Um, this means we're still stuck with the heat, the Volcano and the active, which of course is not ideal. They could snipe again next turn, which becomes really annoying um for us they could welder snipe again we'll see what we top deck here it's an escape board i'm gonna bet second jirachi because them knocking out our jirachi definitely would not be ideal um i'm gonna hearth away our hearth two more energy out of the deck we have to be careful only three energy left but it should be fine and then we're just gonna put that high heat blast make it a little bit easier for our next attackers coming up to knock out this mewtwo but it's looking a little bit rough not gonna lie it's looking a little bit rough here at this point don't have a ton to work with um obviously um, and our opponent's doing all right. Uh, looks like they're running out of energy. Um, as they only got one off that hearth. Still a welder for two. Um, but they definitely have to start going into turbo strike probably soon. They have the venom shot again this turn if they want it. Um, and there are some targets to go for. And that's definitely why we don't want to put the Victini down. We don't want that to be a potential target for them to just kind of focus. Oh, it's going to be the tag purge this time. Interesting that they welder two then instead of welder one, attach one. Now we can just kind of take this knockout and wipe all their energy off the board. Um, especially when it doesn't seem like they have a whole ton of energy left. That's pretty good. Um, we might that a change. So I don't want a giant hearth because then we're starting to run out of energy too fast. Uh, there's a welder though. Um, so we're definitely going for the welder. I'm going to welder on to... Has to, we have to be going for Heatran this turn, it looks like. Yeah, we have to pretty much Heatran this turn. So I'm just going to Welder onto the... I don't want to Welder onto Victini. I guess it, well, Victini couldn't get sniped. So let's Welder onto Victini. We don't need all the energy. Three, four, five. There's the Heatran. We just draw the Heatran, which is great. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and Giant Hearth away. This Jirachi don't need that anymore. Get these two energy. Um, and then we could Heat Factory one if we wanted to to draw more cards. Uh, also, when it, Heat Factory doesn't seem like it would be great for our opponent because they are running out of energy. So giving them uh, Heat Factory, it doesn't do a whole lot for them. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and Heat Factory here. One, two, three. Okay, this is also very good. I'm going to Quick Ball away the Calm. Get ourselves the Vulpix. We can actually try and win on the next turn, potentially. Actually, I don't know if we can quite pull it off. Bench the Heatran. I'm going to count here in a second. Um, uh, retreat to the Heatran, and we need, what, four energy here to pull. And see, we're now going to pull these energy off the Dedene, the Jirachi, uh, and pull one off this Victini. Do the 200 damage. Uh, knock out this guy. I guess we could attach to the Victini. Let's see, the 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um... No, because I want to be able to Welder, actually. Welder 1 and then maybe Ninetales 2. So, actually, I don't want to... I don't want to attach to the Victini. Because um, I want to potentially be able to use it to Welder to it to draw more cards to get the other energy. And then I, then we can Ninetales away those two energy. So, we're getting three prize cards here. Um, and ideally, we draw our last three prize cards on this Mewtwo. The one thing they could do um, would be they could uh, knock out our Victini with Baby Blacephala on this turn. Um, that would pretty much exhaust them of all of their energy though. I actually don't even know if they'd be able to attack again once we knock that out, so it probably isn't an ideal play. I would knock out our Victini, um, but knocking out our Victini doesn't guarantee win them the game. Uh, we even see right there, they used Hearth and got nothing. Um, so like I said, they're kind of running out of energy and we saw it there, they don't have energy. Uh, so that's looking pretty good for us. We'll see what they're able to grab with this Cherish Ball. Uh, they gave us Hearth again as well, which I definitely preferred, I think, having him play um, as long as they're reset stamping us. Um, yeah, if they're going to reset stamp us, I would definitely prefer to have the Hearth in play for sure. Here's a great catcher. Probably looking to just stall our Dedene, but we've got a switch. We can switch into the Jirachi. We can use the Giant Hearth to get rid of this Victini V to get ourselves those fires out of the deck. Hopefully then we find a Welder. We have quite a few Welder left in the deck. Um, and then get the welder off. Probably won't be able to knock out the Mewtwo. We could just look to go knock out Jirachi, knock out the Dene on the following turn, potentially. Um, we'll see. We could also, if we get the Nine Tails, we could bring up the Mewtwo and just punch it with Heatran. Um, that doesn't seem too ridiculously good. Probably just gonna go knock out the active. There's a Muck Muck from our opponent. All right, that gives them some options, I guess. All right, that's an energy. Get rid of this Victini V. Get to energy. Uh, we do have that switch, like I said. Switch into Jirachi. Uh, Stellar Wish. Get the escape board, I guess. Well, nothing else to grab, so may as well. I'm going to put this energy... Uh, let's see, how many energy do we have in here? We need 14 in the discard pile to knock out uh, Mewtwo. So once again, I'm thinking about wanting to save this to Welder it there. Um, I might actually attach to Heatran again, so more energy gets put in the discard pile when it does get knocked out. Um... Could also just hold all of it. Let's see, we have, how many we have in here? Eight, it would be nine, 10, 11, 12. Arthur away one, 13. And then we wouldn't be able to get to a 14th. So I guess I should attach one. Yeah, attach one. Uh, nope, don't want that. Yeah, we're just gonna attach this one. So that way we, we can sit here, we can keep using Steaming Stomp over and over and over again. But when they knock out this heat train, an extra energy is gonna end up in the discard pile, which means Victini hits that much harder. Switch here is also really cool. Um, Cause what we have, what? 13, Hearthaway 1, 14. We have 14 in the discard pile. Um, I guess we have the Dene, so if they knock this out, we would be able to Dene change. Um, so maybe I didn't need to put as many in play discard as I thought. Because I do have the Dene. I kind of forgot about the Dene in my hand. I'm not going to lie. I kind of forgot the Dene existed. Uh, it's a pretty cool card. Um, there's a switch. They attach for turn with a second, second weakness guard energy. So it has to be that Turbo Strike that happens this turn, pretty much. I don't even think they have another attack they can use. Yeah, it's going to be the Turbo Strike. Only 120. Now we could retreat three to the discard pile. Gives us up to 11. Hearth away one, that's 12. Um, this guy's got how much HP? If we get the nine tails, I guess. So we could go Hearth away in energy. Two. We have two comms left. All right, we'd have retreat. 12, 13, 14 with nine tails. So we should go retreat. And at the very least, we can just go back into the active and knock this out. But we're going to go Stella Wish. Get the calm. Calm away the Dedene. Get the Nine Tails. Oh, calm away Dedene. Get the Nine Tails. Evolve. Check again. We got 12. We're going to 13, 14. 
bring up the muck muck and then attach to victini switch and take the knockout with the infinity and that's gonna do it for these games with abilities are hope you guys enjoyed it as always if you did give it a like join the content be sure to subscribe leave your thoughts in the comment section down below have a good day thanks for watching and peace